guys, Sugame up here, and I'm hitting you with another vlog for the RS3. I got a fun one today, a simple one, but something I've actually been waiting for the uh, parts to come for the last actually couple weeks now. And you know, with COVID and everything, shipping's been backed up with USPS and everything. So um, finally came in. I'm really excited to show you guys this one. I'm going to be changing up the badges on this car, and I'll show you what I mean right now. My RS3 does have the black optic package, but still the front rings are chrome or silver and then obviously the RS3 for the grill badge is just a regular chrome uh, silver colorway as well and then this quadro right here is like a uh, darker gray color which is kind of weird it's the only color like this that's on the whole car so we're going to be changing up all these badges on here with uh, different I have a custom one for this quadro and then for uh, the four rings and then for the RS3 one these are just going to be all blacked out that I already purchased before I do that though I obviously need to get a car wash because this car is absolutely filthy so we're gonna get the car wash first a funny story is actually this car already came with uh, the black ring badges on the back and then the RC on that I did buy new ones just because I thought the quality wasn't the best on these I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually get to installing them today but I'm definitely gonna do the fronds in uh, the front and I'm gonna go through all that and then you guys can see how, how it looks after I think it's gonna change up the whole look on the car uh, on the 2020 RS3s, these actually come black, but on the 2017 to the 2019s, they just came with the regular uh, chrome look. So I think the blackout look looks a lot better, and I'm going to be changing them up. It's cool though, man. If you want to make this look nice, you gotta, you gotta put a little money into it. Yep. Alrighty, she's back from the uh, car wash, and she is officially clean and ready to go i'm just gonna wipe down a little bit more um by the badges and stuff because the car still might be a little bit wet because i literally just got done right now and, and then we're gonna go from there all right the the first let's start off first with the front uh, grill badges these are actually really easy to get off you don't have to take off the bumper or anything like that typically what i would use for a lot of my stuff for like little small insulation pieces it's just this plastic piece and i would put it in here i tried earlier to see if it would work but just the way that the the rings are in there they're actually kind of tight so i'm going to actually use a screwdriver instead but how it works you just go in the corner right here i would recommend starting with the right hand corner just putting that in here and you literally just prop it open and then these little prongs come out and you just pull it out that's going to be the easiest way to do it i would like i said i would typically use this but the way that it is it's on there really tight and i'm just going to use a screwdriver and i'm just going to put a microfiber cloth on the back so i don't scratch up the car at all Alrighty. i just got it loosened up a little bit but literally all you're going to do after you get like that is literally it just comes right off and you see little prongs right here and these clips just pull it from there I'm going to put my screwdriver down, and it literally just comes right off, just like that. Couldn't be any easier. And that's just how you take them off right there. Next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean up the space just a little bit, because obviously there's a lot of dirt and stuff, because these badges haven't been came off since the car was built. So, just cleaning this off a little bit with my microfiber uh, cloth. And we're going to go get the black badges that I have right here. Shh, looks so much better. And like I said before, it literally just clips right in so you don't have to do anything crazy. And as you can see, I haven't popped any yet, but I'm just going to show you real quick. That's literally just how it goes in there. And we're just going to clip it and spot in place. But it's going to need, I mean, need two hands for this one, so I'm just going to turn the camera off for this one. Oh man, it looks so much better with the black uh, grill badges. Next, onto the RS3 front badge. I loosened it up a little bit just so you guys can see, but you get the same screwdriver that you had before, and on the back there's a little end piece right here. Hopefully my camera can pick it up. And all you do is you push on this tab right here, and then that loosens up and that allows you to get the RS3 badge out there. Once you have it loose, as you can see right there, and then you're just going to pull the badge piece out just wiggle it a little bit and just like that we got the rs3 out the stock one next we're putting on the nice black logo again i'm just going to clean up the car a little bit with my microfiber cloth and uh make sure it looks a little bit better because obviously this part hasn't been cleaned in a long time Oh, 
Okay, so here's the RS3 all blacked up ads that I purchased. And again, this is clips on, it's not even as intricate as this one. This one has like a bag piece to it. This one, it just has a clip on. So this is even easier. Um, technically, you can put it wherever you want. I'm just gonna put it in the exact same spot um, that the car was in originally, because I think that looked uh, the nicest for the RS3. I'm just gonna clip that on there. Uh, again, I think this is something I'm going to need two hands for again, so I'm going to turn the camera off for this one, but and then I'll just clip it on right there. Alright guys, we got the black RS3 badge in, and obviously the four rings badge in. I ended up actually using the back clip from the stock one, just because I felt like it, it uh, fit a little bit more snug in with the back clip. So I just used the back clip that was on that, and then just went through the back of this. And then it just holds in the grill right there, as you can see through the back. You don't have to, you can just use the regular one, but I think it fits a little bit better and it makes it a little bit more snug. And obviously this car's not slow, so if you're driving fast, I don't want it to fall off. Next, all we're gonna do is take out this Quattro so I can put in my custom lettering. You can use whatever you want. Um, a lot of people use um, uh, tooth floss and they'll just go underneath the uh, underneath the letters and kind of like twirl and get off that way. I like to do it the old school way. Um, I just use a hair dryer. I get it all hot, and then when it gets sticky, I just pull it right off, and it comes off real easy. You can do it either way you want. I'm just going to use the hair dryer, and I'm going to get these letters off. Alrighty, the Quattro is gone from the bottom. Now I'm just going to clean um, the uh, residue and little sticky parts that's left over there with my cloth and get that all nice and clean. And then I'm going to put my custom badging on. I'm really excited to get this on the car. It's red. I think it'll make it pop a lot more just than that old gray did. Um, I'm really excited to get this back on. So I'm just gonna clean it off again with my microfiber cloth, make sure it's all good to go. And then stick these on. These are just 3M, so they just stick right on. Um, and then these should look real good. So I'm just clean it off, stick these on, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, here is the final look. Man, it really changes up the way the car looks. I absolutely love it with this all blacked outlook that's going on. So we changed the chrome or silver uh, four ring badges on the front grille to all black. Changed the RS3 badges all blacked out as well. And then the, the custom for the Quattro, obviously I did not like the gray. I didn't think it looked at all with this car because there's no gray on this car at all. Changed that to the custom red. I know some people are going to ask me where I got that from. There's a page on Facebook called Black Labels. All one word except for the S uh, and labels is a Z. And they do custom badge and they can do any color that you want. Um, I chose red because, you know, I'm going for a black, white, and red look for my uh, my RS3. They are shipping overseas, so shipping does take quite a bit. It took about a month um, for me to get it. I know I talked about this at the beginning of the video. Um, but again, that was from overseas and with COVID and everything, I know that shipping has been taking longer than expected. All in all, I absolutely love the look. I think it's just really easy details um, that make the car really pop out. I decided I'm not going to do the back badges today because they honestly look fine. Um, I'll do it again when I have a little bit more free time. But again, guys, just a quick little vlog today of putting the new badges on my RS3. I think it makes the car look a lot better. Let me know what you guys think. Are you feeling it? Are you not feeling it? I know I got some comments on my last video about my transformation changing the... Um, uh, the stock wheels up to the black ones. You know, some people said they weren't feeling it. But again, let me know what your guys' feedback. See if you're liking it or not. As always, guys, follow me on the Instagram car page. It's ZZRS3ZZ. -Z -Z -Z. I'll leave a link in the description as well. I follow everyone back if you have a car page. doesn't matter what you got. I'll follow you back. As always, guys, thanks, guys, for uh, chicken tune, watching the videos. Please give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe, of course. I, I try to make a new video at least once a week, depending on my work schedule. And uh, other than that, guys, thank you for support. All right. Peace.